Released worldwide in May of 2013, this $190 million science fiction action film, the 12th entry in the long and illustrious Star Trek franchise, is poised to break a profit only a week into its American run. Directed by the extremely popular J.J. Abrams, this PG-13 rated space adventure, like its predecessor, is a reimagining of the optimistic and exciting future Gene Roddenberry so expertly crafted in the 1960s TV show. Part remake, part reboot, and part sequel, the latest tale of the USS Enterprise is an effective blend of everything we go to the movies for, and is tremendous fun because of it. Joining the excitement mid-mission during a thrilling cold open, we're reintroduced to Chris Pine, Zachary Quinto, Zoe Saldana, Carl Urban, John Chu, Simon Pegg, Anton Yelchin, and Bruce Greenwood, all returning for their roles they were so perfectly cast in for 2009 Star Trek. Thankfully, each of them get enough screen time to shine and strut their often amusing personality quirks, a perfect embodiment of what made the original characters so iconic. Especially Pine and and Quinto, whom, dare I say, showcase better chemistry than their aging counterparts did. It's hard not to have an emotional connection to these well-defined characters as the film effortlessly slides from lighthearted action to its dramatic conclusion. Captain on the bridge! Lieutenant, we have an open channel, Mr. Spock. The heat's frying his comms, but we still have contact. Spock! I have activated the device, Captain. When the countdown is complete, the reaction should render the volcano inert. Yeah, and that's gonna render him inert. Do we have use of the transporters? Negative, sir. Not with these magnetic fields. I need to beam Spock back to the ship. Give me one way to do it. Uh, maybe if we had a direct line of sight, if we Hold on, we, man. You're talking about an active volcano, sir. If that thing erupts, I can't guarantee we can withstand the heat. I don't know that we can maintain that kind of altitude. Joining the cast is Alice Eve, an extremely sexy science officer, ostensibly introduced as eye candy, but rarely featured. Peter Robocop Weller as a Federation Admiral whose curious motivation and unenthusiastic delivery make him mostly an afterthought. And finally, Benedict Cumberbatch, who positively steals the show as the picture's primary villain, a fiercely intelligent, well-spoken, and cutthroat adversary who challenges our heroes to their deadliest showdown yet. When he taunts the Enterprise crew by maniacally asking, shall we begin, the tension and anxiety are ramped up considerably as the impeccably paced adventure flies along, despite some confusingly edited battle sequences. Scored wonderfully by Michael Giacchino, the sharp and witty writing makes the exciting material accessible to all audiences, brought to life by incredible visual effects by ILM, from the super cool warp speed shots to the seamless integration of exotic locations and the actors that inhibit them, with fewer annoying lens flares than the previous installment. The movie even contains a number of throwbacks to past entries, like a glimpse of the NX-01 prototype ship from the Enterprise TV series, an appearance of a furry Tribble, or a shameless cameo by Leonard Nimoy. Although the 132-minute picture relies a bit too heavily on tired, ticking clock mechanisms to maintain tension, a hectic space jump sequence that sees Pine slaloming between space debris wearing only a thin suit is undeniably thrilling. A second act reveal abandons established canon and reasoning, with a shocking development for non-fans, but it's unmotivated and pointless otherwise. The final minutes are gripping, emotional, and wonderful to watch unfold, as the picture plays homage to the original series. Best experience unspoiled, this feature is one I thoroughly enjoyed and will definitely watch many times again. But it isn't without flaws. A slight improvement over 2009's reboot, this is easily the franchise's strongest entry. I can't wait for Lucky 13. Star Trek Into Darkness. Gripping blockbuster fun. Trek's best. Now let's hear your thoughts from the YouTube comments. Our scores for Star Trek Into Darkness on the rate of matic Two nines. Praising Cumberbatch, the visuals, and humor, 72% of the vote was split between the highest scores. You thought it was awesome. So far, the best film I've seen in 2013, and while I love the remake, reboot blend, I was definitely annoyed by the irrelevant twist. Still, it's a supremely entertaining popcorn film that gives me hope J.J. will make Star Wars 7 work. I, too, thought it was awesome. 